Smith, the student athletes, to continue with questions for the coach. Uh, coach, you want to go ahead and hand it over to Obviously, it's a tough game, and you know, it's almost always a, a hard way to end the season. Um, I'm just really proud of these seniors, uh, these three, and, and Trisha Coates. Um, I thought we got exceeded expectations, <laughs> momentum going for our program. And, uh, you know, my goal is in, you know, three or four years, we really get this program where we want to be, is invite these seniors back to the banquet and, and tell them how proud I am of them and, and how they, they got this started for our program. So, uh, regarding the game, you know, KC is extremely good, especially defensively. Uh, good in the post and, of course, uh, the, at the guard spot. Um, I thought our girls played hard. I thought, you know, we fought all the way the second half. You know, we're still taking charge and we're still getting on the floor, and that, that meant a lot to me. And, um, I'm proud of these girls and the entire team. Questions for the student athletes. Aaron Viner, Western Courier. For all three of you, can you just talk about the last game and the emotions that are going through your minds? It's pretty uh, almost unreal right now. It hasn't quite hit us. Uh, me personally, just yet. Probably in a couple hours. But, uh, I know one of the main things for this game was if we were going to go out, we were going to go out fighting. And I wouldn't have sorry, picked anybody to go out with than other than these three girls and Trisha Coates. Uh, it's just tough right now. Four years problem. Yeah. Too fast. <laughs> Uh, Garrett College, Western Courier. Knowing that you guys were picked to finish last in the conference, can you take anything away from this, knowing that you got to the semifinals of the tournament? We, we were the only ones who knew from the beginning that we were a 10th place team. So that's all that mattered then, that's all that mattered now. Sidney, so, can you kind of comment on what uh, JD said that, you know, where are you guys are coming, where are you guys, you think? You guys being seniors, do you guys feel like you took a first step in turning this program around and what that means to you guys? Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like it's a great thing. And, you know, I'm glad that we're a part of it. It's hard that we're only got one year, but like you said, in a couple of years, we're going to be the top team that's on the team. Other questions for the student athletes? Okay, seeing none, we'll go ahead and excuse you back to the locker room. Still college kids. We'll go ahead and continue with questions for, for Coach. Coach, um. It seemed like throughout the entire game, you guys seemed uh, definitely height-wise, they had a little big advantage. Can you talk a little bit about how that affected the game? Yeah, I mean, a really tough part about them. Again, I talked about such an inside-outside presence. Um, you know, a couple times they were just lobbing out the uh, their post players. We just had a hard time getting up for it. Or, you know, a 50-50 ball for a rebound, you know, that they're just able to beat us to it. And uh, that's tough. If they were just post-oriented or just guard-oriented, I think you can compensate for that. But it's so hard to do with them both. So. Um, I think the you know high advantage just you know our post players. I mean, uh, number one, sorry, I'm going to pronounce her name, but you know she's not all that tall. She's just a really really good player. So it's not just about the height; it's about their skill and ability to it. What was it like for you as a first year head coach to sort of have the luxury of having these three seniors that always seem to play hard? I mean, it was really nice. I mean, they kind of uh, you know got us through, and uh, I think. It, you know, as a, as a coach, whenever whenever you come into a program, uh, you know there can sometimes be a love hate relationship. And uh, it, with them, it was you know 99% love. Uh, the 1% was they hated me sometimes. But um, you know, like I said, I, I think it was a very unselfish thing for them to do to, to come in and, and kind of sacrifice you know their senior year to to help build some momentum for our program. And, and they embraced it. You know, they didn't have any hard feelings toward towards anyone. They were good leaders and. They, Played hard at a game like they said. I thought they kind of went out with a fight. Coach, you guys have had success against UMKC. You beat them on their home court. What was the biggest difference you think today in, in terms of the other win? 
you know, I, I think I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say it was the way they played. Um, you know, at their place, they just, you know, I'm sure they would tell you, they just didn't play well. They didn't seem to have a ton of effort, you know. Um, obviously, we fed off that, and we played well. And the next two times they played us, they just, they really came out and manhandled us defensively. You know, they're a good, aggressive, defensive team. They played us in fire. Um, and, and I thought they kind of outgunned us. So, um, unfortunately, you know, coach, it's usually you see everything from, from your standpoint, what you can do better, what you did worse. But, you know, part of it's the other team, too. And they came out and played a really good ball game. You guys got behind early. You guys managed to fight back. Uh, you know, you got the steal, and Webb had the opportunity for the layup to cut the four, got her feet mixed up. Two minutes later, it's a 14-point game. Is was that the big momentum swing you think there? You know, you, you always look back and, and wonder about plays like that in every game. Um, you know, it was big. We were cutting into it, and, and we do have that open layup. And it was just, you know, we haven't done <clears> – <throat> she hasn't done that all year. You know, just kind of uh, – it happens sometimes. And I think one thing we've struggled with all year is, is, you know, when something like that happens, not letting it cascade and build on itself. And uh, today we struggle with that when a few bad things happen. You know, we – I thought against Oral Roberts, we talked about you know how you know, we bend but not break, and, and today we probably didn't do as good of a job as that. On that. Any other questions? <laughs>